Chuck. Hey, hey, Neil. We got another explainer video to do. I do enjoy the explainers. You like them. That's very nice. I yeah. do, because uh, I learn things. Okay, you know? that's good. Uh, today's what, topic. What, what is it? Yes. Uh, big numbers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's work our way there. Okay, because right. I don't think I don't think people appreciate how big astronomically large numbers are. Okay, of course, okay. astronomical as an adjective is reserved for big things and big uncountable quantities. Okay, right. there's a reason for that, and I want to elucidate this for you. First, we have to introduce exponential notation. Okay, okay, so that's the number ten raised to a power. Sure. Right. Right. So uh, 10 to the third power is 10 times 10 times 10. Right. Which is 1,000. Right. So 10 to the third power is 1,000. 10 to the fourth power is 10,000. 10 to the right. fifth power is 100,000. 10 to the sixth power, it's a one with six zeros. That's a million. Million. All okay. Right. Are, we, are we together? We're are good. We, uh, okay. Yes. All These right. are all the, the dream numbers of my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's, so I have no problem so, relating to this. All right. So the uh, the number 1,000 is pretty familiar to us all. The populations of most cities is numbered in the thousands, you know, 10,000, 100,000, 500,000, this sort of thing. Uh, let's go up by another f factor of 1,000. So 1,000 times 1,000. Now we're at 10 to the sixth power. That's a million. Right. The largest cities in the world are measured in, in millions. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. I'm native of New York City. We're eight and a half million or something such as that today. Let's go up by another factor of a thousand. So we go from a thousand times a thousand gets to a million. Right. Times another thousand. We add another three zeros. We get to what? A billion. A billion. So a thousand million. We have a thousand million and that gives us a billion. That gives you a billion. That's correct. And so that's Carl Sagan's favorite number. Okay, billions. let's say billions. 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 That's his billions. favorite number. It shows up a lot in astronomy. Okay. Right. There are 400, between two and 400 billion stars in our galaxy. There might be this, this, as many as 100 billion galaxies in the universe. So that billion shows up a lot. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, let's try to further understand this. Okay. So, uh, how much money does Jeff Bezos have? Uh, I think he's worth 80 something billion. So let's round that to 100 billion. Okay. okay. So now, right. here we go. Suppose I had 100 billion $1 bills. All right. Okay. And I would be your friend for life. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, what can I do with 100 billion dollar bills? Well, I can take them and put them end to end. And I can go around the earth 200 times. Wow. Okay? That's a lot. 200 but, times. Wait, 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 wait. But I have some leftover money. Okay. You still have money left over? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, make put them vertically and see how high they go. Well, with what's left over after you went around the world 200 times, you can go vertically to the moon and back 10 times. Wait a minute. That's... In addition to going around two times. No, 200 times. Wait, you are going around the earth 200 times? Yes. And then with the money left over. Left over. Left now you, over. Now you, you, you stack them now vertically you go to the to moon, the moon and, back and back 10 times. and back. Correct. 10 times? Correct. Oh, um, yo, that's insane. Correct. So my, my mattress money got me to the moon <laughs> and back. That's the leftover <laughs> cash. The leftover cash. Uh, other things. Oh McDonald's God. used to keep track of how many hamburgers they sold. Do you remember right. this? If they, yes. If, if old Over timers remember. Billion billion, up to 12 billion, 30 billion, 50. Then they just gave up. And you know what they say now? Billions right. and billions. Billions and billions. <laughs> billions <laughs> and billions. <laughs> okay. So let's go up by another factor of 1,000. From a billion, which is nine zeros, to now we go to 12 zeros. So billion, we have by, what would come after by? But, but try. Try. So trillion. Tr trillion. So 10 to the 12th power is a trillion. Okay? About a trillion seconds have passed since cave dwellers painted on cave walls. 
Okay, here, here's why that's significant. Because you can actually count to a billion in your lifetime. And I celebrated my billionth second. I don't know if you did, but I celebrated my billionth second. I don't know where you were. Yeah, okay. I don't know where I was either. I'll, I'll tell you this much. I, I missed it like that. <laughs> so you, you live your billionth second between your 31st year and your 32nd year of life. So I counted that out, and I had a real fast little sip of champagne, and that was my billionth second. So if you counted <laughs> one, one number per second for every second you're alive and don't sleep, and you can do it in 31 years. So how long will it take to count to a trillion? Um, let's see. You now you need another thousand. It's on a top thousand of that. times that. Uh, not right. You need another thousand on top of that. So you got a thousand times. So you're not gonna make it. <laughs> so you need a thousand times thirty-one years to get there. How long is that? Thirty-one thousand years. Thousand. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So if you want to give a kid a task because they're you know your kids say oh the quarter, <laughs> count to a trillion. Count then, to a trillion. There you go. <laughs> And better yet, just make it a billion and see them and th- and, and, and and keep them going for thirty. Years. <laughs> keep them going. I'm so bored. Count right. to a billion. So let's go up another factor of a thousand. So we go okay. from billion, trillion. That's uh, twelve zeros. So what would be the next number if you're keeping it in the quadrillion? Six, quadrillion, and that has um, nine, twelve, fifteen zeros. That's a this one. This is inconceivable. I'm getting there. We we haven't. You don't know inconceivable yet. So 15 zeros. That's a thousand times bigger than a trillion. Okay. Okay? Um, a quadrillion, about a hundred quadrillion, I calculated this, is the estimated number of sounds and words ever uttered by all humans who have ever lived. Say that again, because that, that was a weird thing you just said. <laughs> okay. A quadrillion. About a hundred quadrillion. Is, about a hundred quadrillion is about the estimated number of sounds and words ever uttered by all humans who have ever lived. That doesn't include flatulence, though. <laughs> and I had to have a separate term for congressional filibusters. They're in there too. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to get a sense of the scale of these numbers. I'm just putting it in context here in a cosmic wow. perspective. Let's go up by another factor of a thousand. So we now have a number a thousand times bigger than all the words ever uttered. So we went from a trillion, a to billion, quadrillion, trillion, quadrillion, quintillion. 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 So that's a one with 18 zeros. Okay? That's about the number of grains of sand on an average beach. Oh, just one beach. Wow. Just one beach. Just one. Well, just next time you go to a beach, just pick up. Yeah. A handful of sand and just look at it. Yeah. And then you, it, the sand is deep and it goes into the water a bit and it comes out and it's wide. So you do the volumes, you get you figure that out. So that's how you get a quintillion grains of sand on an average beach. Okay, but we're not done. I'm not done with you, that's, Chuck. Okay. I'm, listen. Can you I'm, handle the truth? Can you I handle it? I don't even know. I can't. I can't. I'm going to tell you the truth. This. Just. That's just. Go ahead. Okay. I'm, that's and keep in mind. Point. We left Jeff Bezos long ago in this. <laughs> right. <laughs> what we're yeah, I'm telling you, like, this guy's broke as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I wouldn't even stop to rob him on the street. You know what I mean? It's like, Dad. Let's go now a thousand times bigger than a quintillion. Okay. So quintillion was 10 to the 18th power, one with 18 zeros. Now we're talking about one with 21 zeros. Okay. 21 zeros. That has a name. Next up. Sextillion. Sextillion. One with 21 zeros. That is the estimated number of stars in the universe. A sextillion. Yes. Say yes. So that's a thousand times larger than the number of grains of sand on a beach. That's a, which is itself a thousand times larger than all the sounds and words ever uttered. Actually, it's about 10 times larger than the sounds and words ever uttered by all humans who have ever lived. You can take that all the way down. So these are factors larger, not just additive increments, but factors increments. But let's keep going. I'm not done with you. 10 to the 23rd power. You met that number in your chemistry class in high school. Six point. Oh, two times 10 to the 23rd power. That's a mole in chemistry. 
okay? And a mole is how many particles of a substance occupy a specified mass of that substance, okay? A, a mole. A mole. Okay? And so there are vessels that contain moles of things, 10 to the 23rd molecules. So here you go. You ready? Go Do you realize there are more molecules of water in a glass of water than there are glasses of water in all the world's oceans? There are more molecules of water in a glass of water than there are glasses of water in the entire volume of water in the world. Correct. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to drink to that. Okay. So wait, wait. Not only that, there are more molecules of air in a single breath of air than there are breaths of air in all the world's atmosphere. Wow. Okay, so what this means, that's not just a fun fact. What this means is when I drink a glass of water and then it comes out of me seven different ways, okay? I can right. sweat it, sweat, I can spit it, urine, pee, well, right. all of this. It goes back into the environment. Okay, this there, has gotten really disgusting. There are, there are enough molecules that I have just expelled to repopulate all the world's water supply with some of the molecules that were in the glass that I just drank. So here's what we've learned, people. When you drink a glass of water, you're drinking Neil deGrasse Tyson's spit. <laughs> No, given enough time, it has to remix into of the world. So yes. that takes time. So if you get, if you can get a character from long enough ago, whoever your hero is, is it Socrates, is it Joan of Arc, is it Jesus, just go far enough back in time. At and some you, point, there's you a little bit of them in you. Correct. You In the glass of water you drink, there is water molecules that pass through the kidneys of Jesus. There are air molecules that were breathed by Genghis Khan. Uh. There, and so in that way, we are deeply connected in the fluids we consume and in the air we breathe. That is so cool. That is one of the coolest facts we have ever divulged on this show. And you can now, get that with 10 to the 23 molecules scattered back into the atmosphere or into the waters of the world. It's all about a mole. Now, how do we take that and find out how we recycle Jeff Bezos' money into my bank account? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, uh, okay, Chuck, I'll get to work on that equation immediately. Yes, please do. <laughs> so working up from the mole, we get to 10 to the 81st power. If you multiply all the stars and times all the molecules and particles they're made of, you get 10 to the 81 power, which is the sum of all particles that comprise the observable universe. Uh, that's cool. Now you can ask, why would anyone need a number bigger than this? <laughs> I was going to say, there's nothing else beyond that. <laughs> beyond that to count. Yes, right. There what isn't. is there to count beyond that? Okay, but that doesn't stop mathematicians. So there's a number, a one with a hundred zeros, a nice round, that would be 10 to the hundredth power. That's called a Google. The company took that word, messed up the spelling of it, and they became the first time most people even ever heard the pronunciation of such a thing. Nice. Google. One with 100 zeros. That is 10 to the 19th power larger than the number of particles in the entire universe. Oh that's my God. That's... that's all right. So what's the use of that? Well, we'll get there. Okay. <laughs> How about a number that dwarfs... Google, the Google. Well, how would you write out a Google? You put a one and the hundred zeros, right? That's okay. What 10 to the hundredth power means. There's a number that dwarfs the Google. That's 10 to the Google power. And is that called a Yahoo? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> 10 to the Google <laughs> power is a one with a Google zeros, and that's called the Googleplex. Oh, sweet. The Googleplex. Now, here's the problem with the Googleplex. How many zeros does it have, if you were to write it out? Uh, more zeros than, um, let's see, more zeros than it would take your child to write out <laughs> after you sent them to the corner. <laughs> For a timeout? To count to a billion. <laughs> so if 10 to the hundredth is a Google, and it's a one with a hundred zeros, then 10 to the Google power is a one with 
how many zeros? Oh, I have no idea. It has a Google zeros. If what's in the exponent is how many zeros you have, right? 10 to the 21 had 21 zeros. 10 to the 81 had 81 zeros. 10 to the 100th, Google, has 100 zeros. 10 to the Google is a one with a Google zeros. That's a Googleplex. Here's my point. If a Googleplex has a Google zeros in it, right. there are not enough particles in the universe upon which you would write the zeros just to express that number. So there's not room for a Googleplex. To be written to out be written in full in, form in, in the universe. That's correct. If, if, you yeah, put, yeah. if you put a zero on every particle in the universe. You, can't, you don't have, you, you the, run you, out of room to write run, the Googleplex. Correct. That's insane. That's insane. It's completely insane. It's the Googleplex. It's a big number. <laughs> okay. And we, wait a minute. So we went through all this to say, it's a big number. It's a big number. I'm just saying. That's what the session is about, Chuck. Big numbers. Did, did, you, get the, did you get the rhythm Here in this Here we yet? go. Full circle. And we're full circle. Big okay. numbers. All right. So now, why do you have big numbers at all? Because you're no longer counting things. You're counting... In one way, in one use of them, you're counting events. So, for example, there is a number that dwarfs the Googleplex. It's called Skew's number. It's called it's ten to the tenth to the tenth to the thirty fourth power. It's called Skew's number. Okay. Now that number dwarfs the Googleplex, and you can only write it this way with these sort of exponents right. up there. Okay. Right. Well, because there's there's not enough room in the universe to write it any other way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. That's about <laughs> the total number of combinations of how you would orient the matter in the universe. Oh, that's so for cool. so for example, if I take a molecule within you and swap it with a molecule in me, that's a configuration of the universe. Right. I take right. something from Alpha Centauri and swap it with with Omega Ceti 5. Uh, which is a fictional place from Star Trek. <laughs> swap those atoms, that's another config. Swap 10 atoms here and there, that's another configuration. It's the number of combinations of particle configurations in the universe. All right, that is pretty cool. Um, right, again, you're not counting things, you're counting events. It's like asking how many possible chess games are there. Right. right. Chess only has, you know, eight, six, 32 pieces in it and 64 right. squares. Right. All right. So, so there you have it, Chuck. I just wanted to give you a sense of what big numbers are. And whatever is the big number you thought the big number was, there are bigger numbers than that. There's bigger numbers than that. <laughs> right. Right. Well, and for me, what, I have, what I have taken away from this is Jeff Bezos isn't as rich as I thought he was. <laughs> He's a broke. <laughs> He's broke. Broke ass Bezos. So, Chuck, there you have it. The cosmic perspective of big numbers. Sweet. <laughs> yes. All right. This has been another explainer video from Star Talk, and I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bidding you to keep looking up. <laughs>